I got this shed for about 140 bucks. This is how the image looks like, the concept looks like, how it would look assembled. Here is a drawing. There are a couple of differences. Here the side wall is touching the ground to collect dirt, leaves, snails, bugs, exoskeletons, whatever. Here in the picture that nuisance is missing. Here is some something something, cubic feet, whatever, storage. Uh, it's 6 by 6 by 6 feet. Yeah, that's nominal. As you can see it in the detailed drawing, it's 6 feet here. So you won't be able to walk through the door open as is. And uh, the door is held up by bungee cords and are fixed to the ground with a tie down, like so. So the effective door width is made a little narrower because of uh, because of these tie downs here are in the way. I'll show you outside so you can have a good look at it and uh, yeah there's the size of it in metric again it's nominal because it doesn't quite work out the way the instructions were pretty uh, pretty good although some of the pictures are confusing All right. uh, those are the parts it was packaged neatly uh, it's the components are powder coated and uh, and it attaches to the ground with some tent peg looking things with uh, it, it's like an auger bit it's in this book I, I didn't use those I just put them on bricks and uh, it's got a it's got a canopy of front face and the back face the the uh, tubes are numbered and well marked and they are almost packaged in the order that uh, you would need to use them so here is the layout for the roof it's a little confusing which way the pieces are but uh, eventually you'll get it if not just pull it apart and go again and there is a brace that the picture shows that's how it looks like when it's bolted together I'll show you reality because that's not how it looks like but other than that you know that's uh, that's a cross brace there well, it's not a cross brace. A cross brace would be, you know, on a diagonal. Uh, but so that braces it. Uh, pictures show how you wrap around the end walls, and uh, and then these are the tie downs. Everything is in the box, and for the price, it's it's pretty good. That picture is confusing, but uh, by because I. I I couldn't make uh, sense uh, of it, but I'll show you what they have in mind there with that picture. And uh, yeah, it probably comes with some kind of warranty, whatever. And it tells you over and over again that this is not a permanent structure. It will fly away in the wind. Uh, so there's all kinds of anchor guide and uh, whatever else in there. All right, let's look at the product, which is over here. That's how it looks like. It's pretty close to what you see in the picture. And uh, it's waterproof and everything. Picture doesn't say so, but uh, the doors are zippy. So, uh, all right. I put it on. I put it on bricks so that so the uh, so there's no wildlife and animals and debris and whatever collecting underneath this flap here. And uh, what they have in mind for anchoring is is something like this: that the outside the the, uh, the it needs to wrap around the end wall like so. I didn't tighten it. You could super tighten it and cinch it, but you can see that this this vinyl has limits for tensioning, and you can see it's tearing there the amount of space inside looks good oh the good thing about it is is this is the rear wheel of a motorcycle so it's longer than six feet it's longer than six feet uh, and, and it can you know 
come past the door opening, the end wall still accommodates around it. So that's what I've got in here. A motorcycle that I'm working on will be subject to future videos. Four bicycles fit easily, you can still walk in there. I have a sheet of plywood here that I just put in there so you can lean bicycle against it. It's not a full sheet. And, uh, and there you can see these tie downs and uh, the bricks. The cross brace looks like so. Now nah, it's too dark for it here. Let me pick another spot. Yeah, this will do. Here is the here is this cross brace, and and it's it's gappy there. It's got dimples on it, and those dimples bite down on these on these uprights and uh, and. And if you slide them up and down, the powder coating is gonna scratch the powder coating on uh, on these on these legs or uprights. So you're gonna have to watch it and uh, possibly avoid it. So that's how this thing looks. Uh, this, the motorcycle is also longer at the other end, at the front here. You can see the wheel, the front wheel here, bulging out Not there. Not a problem because this end wall can uh, stretch out enough so it can accommodate that little bit of uh, extra length there. So I just bought it, I just built it, and as is, I'm happy. It's keeping the bikes dry.